hello guys welcome back to the another video of engineers academy so guys our uh, today's topic is the mechanical measurement system that is nothing but the gas filled temperature gauge so guys in this video we are going to learn the working of this gas filled temperature gauge and its specifications but guys before going to our today's topic i request you to please consider subscribing and press the bell icon so you will get the latest updates over there so guys let's begin with our today's topic that is gas filled temperature gauge so guys over here uh, in the gas filled temperature gauge it works on the basic principle of this sensing bulb inside that sensing bulb this uh, nitrogen that is called as inert gas is filled over there and uh, this there are this the mechanical system over there which is the system is fully filled with the gas that is typically nitrogen gas and whenever this bulbs uh, like uh, the temperature increases and the, this bulb senses the temperature the inert gas which is there inside that bulb it expands and as this the gas is fully filled in the system it also expands this bordon tube basically so guys this basically over here this is the connecting link which is connected from the end of the bordon tube and to the uh, mechanism that is the pinion so this connecting link due to that connecting link the pinion rotates and the pointer gives us the reading on a scale so guys this is the overall working of the gas filled temperature gauge over here this is the re industrial representation of the gas filled temperature gauge and guys this is the remote mounting capillary so the typical length of the capillary is ranges from 3 meters up to 20 meters basically so guys this capillary type is over here this is the armor type capillary so guys there are two types of the capillary system first one is the armored capillary and the second one is the covered capillary so guys over here this capillary is having the armor basically so that's why it is called armored and the next one is the covered capillary so guys there is no armor on the basic microbol capillary so this one is the basic one that is the covered capillary which is shown over here in this image so guys but it's not advisable to use without armor it is always like uh, used without covered uh, armor capillary so basically that's a good engineering practice so let's check out the specifications of the gas filled temperature gauge so guys over here this is the temperature gauge the first one is the very important that is the reference standard every manufacturer has to compile the reference standard that is en13190 then sensing system can be of the gas filled or liquid filled sensing system the dial size can be ranging it can be of 4 inch and 6 inch gas filled cannot comes in the 2.5 inch the temperature range always corresponds to the standard that is en13190 the next one is the mounting type that can be of the direct bottom back entry or the surface mounting so guys over here this image shows us the surface mounting and the over here this the ashcroft model the vertical model is of the direct bottom type whereas this the horizontal model that is with the vanstone thermo well uh, which is back entry so guys over here in this image this is the surface mounting so whenever surface mounting comes you need to understand the capillary always will be there the next one is the process connection that is a threaded half inch bsp or npd or any other as per the requirement of the customer so guys over here this is the uh, acf is the provided that is the process connection over here you can see this is the process connection of the gauge so guys the process connection type is also matters over here that can be the fixed or the adjustable so guys this particular acf that is the adjustable compression fitting it uh, slides over this stem of the temperature gauge so next is the stem length so guys the stem length or the stem diameter so stem diameter can be of 6 mm 8 mm 10 mm whereas stem length varies as per the requirement so guys these are all the mechanical specifications or we can call it as a mechanical aspects of the temperature gauge apart from that over here the material is also important the material that is the material of the inside bordon tube which is also important which is always will be ss 316l which is also comes under the specifications the next one is this uh, case and bezel material that is the ss 304 or we can also provide the 316 depends upon the requirement and the material of this capillary that is the 
SS3 armor material is SS304, whereas the microbore capillary is having 316. The material of the stem will be always SS316. So guys, uh, over here we can provide glycerin over here in the gas filled temperature gauge. Okay, so this gas filled temperature gauge having fast response over uh, fast response time over the biometallic gauge and it also shows the high reliability. So guys, uh, that's all for our today's video. So guys, in this video, we have seen the specifications and the construction of the gas filled temperature gauge. So guys, I hope you like our video. So if you have like our video, please hit like. If you have any doubts and any queries, please do comment below. And guys, don't forget to share all my videos, engineering related videos to your friends on a social networks. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my educational channel, Engineers Academy. Thank you so much.